Good evening. Actually, let's see if we can get you guys tilt it up a little bit because I'm going to have to be raising that thing up. Yeah. As part of my effort to um, bring you guys a little bit more content, more regular content, I've got me a whiteboard here. I'm going I'm to put it up. Just thought I'd let you guys see me doing this and kind of exp explain to you what my plans are for 2021. Uh, but right now, let's go ahead and get this thing screwed up here. Where I take stuff down and... I think I found some stud on that one. Short person problems. Let me get up here on the desk. That's gonna be close. Oh, that's definitely plenty. I'm not going nowhere now. And we'll put some down here at the bottom. One whiteboard installed, just like that. We've got ourselves a, a makeshift working office. Have a seat right here and talk to you guys for just a second. So, my plan for this, I know it's just a whiteboard, it's not a huge deal, you know, but I've had this for some time, I just haven't ever gotten it put up. My plan is, and I'll be using this for other stuff outside of YouTube anyway, but, uh, I'm going to walk through kind of one of my, uh, this isn't a 2021 outline, but I want to walk through one of my uh, video ideas with you guys and sketch it out here on the whiteboard. I'll publish this and let you guys kind of weigh in on, on what you think about that, how you feel about that. Um, this is going to be, well... Let me go grab a marker and we'll start right now. All right, guys, there you have it. I don't know if you guys can read that, honestly, but I'm gonna go over this with you real quick because the, the purpose of this video here is to let you guys know what my plan is and get your feedback a little bit ahead of time, actually. I'd like, I'm gonna be, this video is gonna hit prior to the new year I would like to start, um, I would like to do my intro in January sometime. Now, I don't know, you know, I'm not saying it's going to be January 1st or January, you know, first week of January, but I would like, I'm going to start working on these videos in January, and I want the intro to hit sometime in January, and then ideally, in a perfect world, I would have one of these videos hit each week. Now, I don't know if that's gonna be possible because I do have a lot of other stuff going on uh, in my work life, my family life, as well as the farm side of things um, and the YouTube side of things and all that stuff. So, I don't wanna put too big of a, a job on my shoulders to where I just don't do anything. So, ideally, one a week, I'm gonna shoot for one every other week, so one every two weeks. Uh, I'll be happy with that if I can get that done on a regular basis because I'm still planning on having my normal videos, having a, uh, you know, working on the building, um, cutting some firewood, working on the baler. Uh, I've got a fertilizer buggy I need to get some work done on. I've got several things I, I need to do. I actually have... You guys don't even realize this. Maybe, maybe you've noticed in the background, but I actually have an entire baler and about 10,000 pieces that needs to be assembled. Uh, it's a 320 New Holland. Anyways, that's another day. Maybe I can take you guys along for the ride on that, but we'll see how that goes. So anyway, starting at the top. The first video is gonna come out. It's gonna be intro to small score balers. My goal there is to have an eight to 10 minute video. Okay. Uh, my goal there is to have it to where Anyone watching this video can walk away with something. Even if you're not into baling hay, if you're not into farming, 
if you have any interest in machinery or, or just how things work, that'll be the video for you, okay? Then all the rest of these are going to dive deeper into the inner workings of each section. Now, I'm not going to break down to, you know, <laughs> the science behind the design and all that stuff. I'm going to try to keep it real world, uh, useful videos for you guys that are actually using the machines um, to take away something. Maybe uh, it'll help you troubleshoot sometime in the future. You know, maybe somebody's watching this two, three, five years from now and they say, oh man, this guy here, he really helped me out. Hopefully. That's what I like. I want to help you guys out. That's, that's my goal of this. So, and you know, getting a view or two, you know, that adds to it. Icing on the cake. So, my goal is I'm going to go through each section, okay? Not real in depth, just a general overview. And I'm going to go through how each of those sections attributes to making a bale of hay. So, that's video number one. Then we're going to dive right into the inner make workings of the baler. Uh, second video is going to be a drive line video. I'm going to cover PTO. Okay, I'm going to focus on my baler. Not saying that that's going to pertain to every single baler out there, but most of these things will be very similar to the baler you're dealing with. So, drive line, we're going to go over the PTO. So, that's going to include your, your, your PTO, your clutch, your slip clutch, your overrun clutch, your gearboxes. Uh, the route that the power takes, uh, sprockets, chains, all that good stuff. Going to go over some issues, some adjustments. Now, you know, uh, there's not going to be a whole lot of stuff to go over in that department because that's really something that, if it's working, it's working. Third video is going to be the pickup. This is probably actually going to be the thing that has the least amount of stuff to go over. Uh, there's really not a whole lot of issues on pickups, really. Uh, but I'm going to go over, you know, the teeth. I'm going to try to compare between a uh, super sweep or a high capacity pickup versus a standard pickup. And really, no one even makes a standard pickup anymore. The super sweep is the standard. Uh, go over the cam followers. Uh, since I've had that apart, might try to throw some footage in there of that. Um, the drive. I actually have an aftermarket sprocket on mine, so it's actually going a little bit faster than a standard one. Uh, then issues and adjustments. There's not really a whole lot of adjusting other than the weight of the pickup reel and that, that type of thing. Uh, then the next one is probably going to be one of, probably going to be the number two area, if you're a New Holland guy, the number two area that you're going to have to focus on on your bailer, and that is the feeder. Feeder bar, feeder house, feeder drive, all that good stuff. We're going to go with the feeder bar. The feeder times, actually the times be in with the bar. Uh, feeder drive, issues and adjustments, we're going to go over the sprockets, the chain, all that entire system, bearings that go in it, all that good stuff. Uh, if I have the information, you guys are going to have the information. So, uh, the next up will be the plunger. This is probably the most uh, neglected part of the baler uh, because it's just one of those things that's just like, oh man, you know, that's like the, that's like the piston of an engine. It's the main piece, but it's the piece that's inside, so you never really mess with it, unless you're actually rebuilding it. So a lot of you guys don't even touch that part of it. Same with the bail, with the plunger. We're going with the bearings, the rails that the bearings run on. I call them rails, rails, guides, wear strips, whatever you want to call them. Uh, we're going over the drive, the high point gearbox, a little bit, touch on that. Um, I'm not tearing one apart for you guys. I don't have one to tear apart. I'm not tearing apart a perfectly good one, just... For a video, no offense. Uh, we're over the knives, uh, adjustments on all that stuff. Hopefully, by the end of that video, you'll have an idea on adjusting and rebuilding a plunger. This isn't going to be a full blown how to step by step thing because I'm trying to keep these videos short and compact and full of information. So, you know, hopefully, in the future, I'll have a really long video for each of these items. Right now, I just don't. Uh, Nodder overview. This is going to be the number one. I say this one. This one and basically all these other videos after that are going to be the videos that most guys are going to be interested in because that is the black magic of the square baler. Nodder overview. We're going to go over the terminology, parts and functions. So once we hit the ter terminology, we'll go over the names of each piece on the Nodder. 
we're going to go over how they function and how they all contribute their part to making a knot. Uh, then we're going to go over just kind of the basic operation. We're going to turn it in slow motion. I know there's tons of videos out there, but you know maybe it'll be a f different perspective. It might help somebody. So moving on from that, we're going to break the knotter down. And basically all these are videos of the knotter. We're going to go over threading the twine. This will be a very simple, basic, quick video, but, um, you know, even if you've been doing it for a while, maybe you might pick up something. If you haven't ever done it, this is your video right here. Uh, going to go over the correct route. We'll go over how I do it. Uh, and then we'll go over issues and adjustments. There's not really a whole lot of adjustments on threading the twine. I'm going to say there's one, and that's where the, the tension coming out of the box. So, uh, then moving on, we'll go over the knotter needles. That's kind of the first thing that the twine goes through. We'll go over their function, adjustment, and issues. And notice I kind of have fewer asterisks in, below each of these. The purpose of this is just going to be basically knotter needles, what they do, their function, and then any adjustments uh, and issues. So whenever I say issues, I'm going to, it's not going to be all inclusive, but I'm going to try to go through kind of what I feel is the top issues, maybe the top two or three issues, maybe more if it's a particular component that has a lot of issues. And I'll go over what those issues are, what the possible um, cause of those issues are, and then the adjustments you can make to, to rule out those causes or, or solve those issues with those causes. So, uh, the needles, then we're going to go over the knotter bill hook, then we're going to go over the knotter knife arm, then we're going to go over the knotter twine finger, and then the knotter twine disc, and under twine disc, it's, it's, I, I picture all of one piece, it's actually three different pieces. The, the twine disc, the twine holder, and the twine cleaner. If you don't know what some of those things were that I was referring to, you will know. So, I will, that's why I want to go over the terminology first, so I'm not speaking some kind of foreign language to some of you guys. And then I've got three things down here, and I want you guys to tell me where I need to put these in. I'm thinking uh, I've got baler timing, because you can't read it. I've got baler timing, bail adjustments, and accessories. So I'm really thinking, I really think accessories needs to go at the end. So I'm going I'm to make a mark of that here. Put that at the end. Uh, bail adjustments. I'm kind of thinking that needs to be at the end too, probably before accessories. So I'm just gonna mark that as the end. And, and I want you guys to comment below and tell me if you agree or if you think it should be somewhere else. And then the baler timing, I'm thinking I need to st stick that probably, um, honestly, I'm gonna say I need to stick the baler timing right after the intro. So that needs to be at the beginning. That, that's what I'm thinking. Um, I can spell beginning the reason I kind of am doing this video rather than just rolling everything into the intro is because I want your guys's feedback before I really start on the series so I mean you know if it's a month even if it's a year from now you guys can go ahead and put your comments down below or whatever but immediately I'd really like some feedback from you guys to tell me yeah that looks really good or you're an idiot. Why in the world are you going over that stuff? Everybody already knows that. Or, geez, you left out the most important one, and it's this. You know, I don't, I don't know. I literally have been thinking about this for a little bit, but I literally sat down, turned the camera on, and this is what I got. So I just came with this off the top of my head. Let me know what you guys' thoughts are. If you think the order should be different, if you think that uh, I should leave some stuff out, if you think I should include some things, if you think, you know, just let me know your thoughts and what, what you think about this. And uh, I'll try to incorporate that. If I can, you know, uh, I'm not going to give away $100 to everybody who clicks like on my thing. If that's your comment, eh, you know, you can leave it. But I'm not, we're not going to incorporate that. So, <laughs> but, you know, within reason to the topic, I will try my best to incorporate your guys' suggestions into this video series. By the way, I'm gonna stick a picture of this board in at the end of this video here. 
and just so you guys can have a better look so you're not having to pause the video. And uh, let me know down below, obviously, your thoughts, as well as uh, if you guys have any other ideas for a series or just a video, a one-off video, um, I'd be happy to make it if I can. You know, I'm not a professional. I don't get paid. You know, the definition of a professional is you get paid to do what you're doing, okay? I'm not a professional bailer, man. I'm not a professional bailer mechanic. I'm not a professional, you know, I don't get paid for doing that. I just enjoy doing it, and I have acquired a decent amount of knowledge. You know, I'm not going to say that I'm, I'm the best bailer guy in the world or, you know, there's guys that have been doing it for 40, 50 years, obviously. Uh, they're definitely better than me. Uh, you know, I'm not saying that I can't come to the same conclusion. It may just take me longer, you know. So, anyways, I'm rambling now. I apologize, guys. Have a very blessed day, a very blessed evening. I appreciate every single one of you. God bless America. God bless you. Franklin County Court.